Before you start a Pro Tools recording session, it's a good idea to set up your session with memory locations that will delineate the form of your session. So for instance, if you're recording a song, you can set up memory locations for the verse, chorus, second verse, bridge, etc. If you're doing um, video post-production work, you can set up memory locations for different spots that need audio, so some ADR or Foley or any other kind of scoring that you may be doing. Here I've got a 12 bar blues that I've comped together for the purpose of this lesson and what we'll be doing is we will be placing markers at the different portions of the 12 bar blues. Let's take a listen. Okay, so to create memory locations, you are going to make sure that the markers track is showing, and if it's not, you can click here on the ruler view track and choose markers. Now, hold down the control key and look for the hand with the plus icon. Click once and give your marker a name, and make sure that the marker radio button is selected. Now, under these additional general properties, let's only choose, actually, let's not choose any of them. We'll get into additional um, memory location functionality in another movie. We can zoom in and then drag our marker to the appropriate location. I'm in grid mode, so the markers are going to snap to the grid. OK, so let me quickly make a few more. You can just drag them around as you need. Okay, so now I have all of my memory locations set. I'll zoom in a little tighter to make sure that they're on the right grid lines. And so now, to utilize memory locations efficiently, I need to bring up the memory locations window. I can do that by pressing Command and the number 5 on the keypad, or go to Window, Memory Locations. So what I can do now is I can click each of these slots to shuttle to the memory location. So for instance, if I want to hear the first four chord, click on the memory location and then hit Spacebar. While it's playing, I can shuttle to different locations. And I can always move a location. So I can move the four chord back and then double click on or single click on it and press spacebar. So you can see that they provide a fast way to get around your session without having to continuously zoom and scroll. To get rid of a memory location, hold down Option, and if you do it over the memory location window, an eraser appears. If you do it over the actual memory location, a minus appears with the finger icon, so you get rid of it. To add it again, Control, click, and Label.